Sure, go ahead. There is hope. 
like to read Isaiah chapter 40. And this is King James Version. In verse 1 it says, Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her. That her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of the Lord's hand double. That's from the very beginning. He has a few words he'd like to share with us today. The devil touched a lot of hearts, including my own. I would wish you and your family the absolute best. And I just want to take a minute to thank all the friends that I have, all the firemen, the policemen, Texas Equal Service, all of you. I think they'll be well known. Just because this service will end today, I extend to you my commitment. Myself and many people in this room will not just simply walk away and trade away. We will be here for you so long as you need us. God bless you.
Every day our briefing and debriefing uh, meetings in the command center, you could only imagine the frustrations that everybody had. Uh, I remember Lieutenant Paul Sam one time, he said, you know, I could go into a bloody murder crime scene and know what to do. And he said, now we've been here two and a half days. And I don't know what to do. Where do we go? Everybody put their heads together.
we all have a tendency to want to know why. And I learned after many, many years of serving as a pastor that a lot of times we don't know the answer why. What do we do now? Where do we go from here?
We know that the God that today dead, his body may have ceased to exist, but his spirit is in your presence for all eternity because your son Jesus paid the price for all of us. I thank you for Devin. I thank you for the joy. I thank you for the joy, the happiness that you brought, that he brought to this family. I thank you, Lord, that, that, that he, though his life may have not have been about quantity, it was about quality, the love that he had felt towards his parents and them towards the Father, we thank you today that, that you allowed this family to have the time they did Lord, we know we can't bring him back, but we know one day we can go and be where he is in your presence. And today, Lord, they, this family needs you. They need your strength. They need you, God, just to put your loving arms around them and help them through this time, this struggle. Father, I read in the Bible where it said the Holy Spirit is our comforter. May the Holy Spirit bring comfort. We, we pray for this family. We pray for the family members, the friends. We pray for all those that were involved in the in the search of this child and, and, the, and the pain they are experiencing, the sadness they are experiencing today. God, we have nowhere else to turn. We don't know where else to go except to come to you and cry out. God, you said in our time of need to cry out to you and you would be there. Father, we cry out to you and ask for your help. Be with this family and bring them comfort. We ask this in the wonderful, precious, holy name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus. Amen. At this time, I'm going to ask that the funeral directors from Neil Funeral Home will come. And they're going to, at this time, we're going to have the presentation. Parents are going to present some flowers, followed by a flag presentation. Now, let me explain. Typically, a flag presentation is reserved for... Today we're just going to use that imagery because this is going to be a time of respecting daddy's little soldier. And so there'll be a flag presentation. At the conclusion of that, I'll come back and we'll close this.
may be seated. Thank you. I would like to invite all of the family. Oh, she called me. She's 